Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk. On this show, we talk about your topics that you submit on Twitter using the hashtag Table Talk or putting them on our slash source fit on Reddit. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turner. I'm Trisha Hershberger. Let's do this. Let's do. Go, Meg. Can't reach it. <laughs> Can't reach it, dear. Go, go, gadget arm. Oh, right. It's like Mary Poppins' bag in here. There's like a lamp. That just I just wish. Food, food, food. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Uh, um, all right. Uh, Aqua Creed says, favorite toy as a child. Uh, I have Ooh. a good one. I, I will let go ahead. I'm here. But uh, when I was a kid, I just t- popped right into my head. When I was a kid, uh, my dad owned a record service, and one yeah. of his coworkers uh, was a black man named Billy. <laughs> and Billy got me. There were these things called My Little Buddy. They were like dolls. They were like little dolls. So he got me my black buddy. He got me the black version. Oh, of my, buddy. Was it my, yeah, my buddy. buddy. Oh, yeah. My buddy. Oh, my little buddy. Kid, yeah. sister, kid, kid sister. Kid sister. Wherever she goes, I, I go. My sister had I a kid sister. And I remember one time I got mad at her and I like hung it by the neck from the swing. So oh, my I God. Like, I was that kid. You were <laughs> That reminds girl. me. Uh, my, my brother. <laughs> we used to share a room and we had bunk beds. And I was having my friend spend the night for the first time. And uh, this is this is unrelated to my favorite toy, but but related to hanging a, a toy. <laughs> and my brother, uh, he had to the top toys. bunk, and he left a note for when my friend came. My friend and I came into the room that said, it, and there was a big bird. We had the, this really big big bird, and he hung it like like <laughs> on a noose, and then he put a note on it that said, "If you sleep up on this top bunk, this will be you by the morning," or something like that. <laughs> oh my like, god! Well, all right, I'm not getting. That's a horrible kid. Where was he? Uh, he was just like I don't know at school or something or out with his friends and then. But he just did it as a way as a thing to like when we got home right. to see. Yeah, I guess. but don't you sleep on that top bunk? I never. You in trouble? An animal. Well, boys are different. Uh, yeah, when I essentially when I was a kid, I essentially was a little boy. Like well, I had Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters, and I was constantly climbing trees and playing in the dirt and falling in the creek, like. I was that kid. My mom was like, "Here's some My Little Ponies, please." <laughs> um, so that that I was, I was a boy. No, I was the same way as a kid. I had two older brothers, so everything they did, I wanted to do. Ninja Turtles, same thing. And, and I never. And I remember getting a Barbie for a birthday from like a friend and being like, oh, "Okay." And then I never. It never came out of the box. I hated Barbie. Uh, as far as like toys go, I was always into like the Ghostbusters toys. Yeah, you're the master. And of then toys. I was yeah, I had like a ton of like really cool toys. I had like. Um, so I had Ghostbusters, I had Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. But I think my favorite, oh, when I was really young, I had like Muppet toys. That's and cool. then I so I loved the Muppets so much, I, I would always have puppets. Like I loved puppets. So I had like puppets of all kinds. And my mom tells this story famously uh, around the family gatherings. Uh, <clears throat> that I had this puppet. Uh, I can't remember, it was called it was like a fob. I don't know. I'll have to find a picture of it. Maybe, maybe we can pop it up. But my mom said I loved it so much, I would go to sleep with it on. And so, and then at night she would like have to come and take it off of my arm. And when she would take it off, my hand would be totally sweaty because I had my hand in the puppet <laughs> like all night. So that was like, I guess I, I love puppets. I love how as a so child much. your hand was your best friend, and as an adult your hand is your best Absolutely friend. Absolutely, oh, it is. I know. And don't talk oh, back. Um, but um, <laughs> Rosie Palm and but, um, five friends. Oh, also, huh. um, Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage um, Patch Kids. I had one. His name was Han- her name was Hannah, but I always called okay. him a boy. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, he likes the dirt. And my mom would be like, Hannah's a girl. I had this problem with, like, genders. Like, I always thought Michael Jackson was a girl, and I thought Hannah was a boy. I think everybody thought Michael mm-hmm. Jackson was yeah, a girl. Yeah, that's not I, a bad problem. No, my, my favorite toy was my Nintendo. Right. By far. Very like, cool. original NES. And it's because I had to ask for it for years, because, again, my mom was like, no, no, girls don't do that. Let's, no, let's, no. Let's get you some fun lady stuff. Um, but I insisted. How uh, dare your mom keep you from, like, branching no, my, out where you want to my mother's go. wonderful. She was trying to guide me in a ladylike direction. I'm sorry it didn't work out, Mom. Um, but uh, no, the so I got Nintendo for Christmas one year, and I, I remember looking at the size box under the tree, and I was like, oh, that better be Nintendo. Let that be Nintendo. And so I ran right over to it, and I was little, like tiny. Like the box was probably as big as I was tall. Um, and I ripped it open, and I grabbed it, and I lifted it above my head, and I started running around the house screaming, I got it! So you're like I the original meme where the kid rips yeah. up the oh, Nintendo 64. Man. Like if intense. there was a camera. I know my parents have video of it somewhere. I'm trying to find it. Oh, like an VHS cool. somewhere yeah. that Christmas. But like then in like first grade, I had to do a project where it was 
make a story about something and I made Nintendo Nick and I wrote a big book about Nintendo Nick and it was the console with eyes. Mm, and like the cool. controller things were art. Like I was I was wow. obsessed with the NES. Where did console. that cool imagination go? Where is it? Ah! <laughs> yeah, I know we could get Where is it in there? And I made the, I remember toys. a project too yeah. where I had to make a board game and I essentially made Candyland, but it was Mario. And so, like, I had, when you got to the castle, there were the exact number of fireworks around the castle. That's on the awesome. flagpole. Like, I was just obsessed Parents with it. Parents need to, like, I'm thinking more about, like, your mom, too. Like, like when you when you try to, like, push your kid in a different direction from the one direction that they're really going in, <laughs> it always just caught, it backfires, right? It always <laughs> just makes like, the kid kind of rebel know, against it. your mom encouraged backfires. puppets, and you're still she way She did encourage puppet. puppets. Yeah. That's true. But my mom was always, she always encouraged, like, kind of everything. Even being, like, I wasn't into school and stuff, and she was just like, okay, well, let's, let's find what you're really into and embrace that which is really awesome but like I feel like when you try to keep your kid from doing something and they really want to do it they're going to find a way to do it anyway well but then like also they tried to get me into sports because it's like you know be well rounded they signed me up for every sport there was once I lived yeah. through one season of sitting on the oh bench of God. every sport oh, yeah. that I played, and then we gave up on that. Oh, <laughs> softball was the business I loved playing now I do dodge oh my god you have to go to dodgeball with me I play an all-girls dodgeball league, Trisha Hirschberger. Does it hurt, is my question. I, uh, it's really not bad. Does it hurt you? It's, How often do you come home with bruises? No, I don't ever come home with bruises. I've gotten drilled in the face a few times. <laughs> uh, and it's it's actually You heard it right you. here, folks. <laughs> Meg Turney. Got yeah. drilled in the face. <laughs> it, Hashtag. You, that definitely... <laughs> <laughs> That definitely, <laughs> that definitely hurts. But like last night, it's like it's like a pretty instant pain, and mm. then it's gone. It's like last night, like I tweeted, I got hit right in the baby maker, and I was like, oh, my ovaries. Ugh. And then I said, I was like, okay, I'm okay. I think kickball <laughs> I could deal with. Softball, they always put me way out. Is it left? Is it left field or right field that no one ever hits to? <coughs> I was that position. <laughs> we uh, you pick flowers. I feel like yeah. we had similar childhoods. <laughs> my parents I know. tried to get me into sports too. My dad uh, was always into soccer. Wanted us both to be soccer players. My brother and I. And my brother did it. He even went into high school soccer. Oh, really? Yeah, but I was just like, I could never get into it. I just wanted to play with my toys and Nintendo. Well, and, and that's shit. like, I did track for three years in elementary school because my friends were on it, and I just wanted to hang out with my friends. But I always chose the hundred meter dash because it was the shortest. And it was like the least amount of effort I had to put in. I was horrible at it. I'm not a good sprinter. Like, were you always for, like, were you... you'll be better with distance. And I was like, nope, this one's shorter. Give me that one. That's well, that's funny. like, I wanted to do track in middle school, but then my knees would always hurt. And nobody would believe. They were like, oh, okay, you're hamming it up. Mm-hmm. Then Shin six splints. years later, when I had knee surgeries, I was like, I want to go back. Oh my God, this is so depressing. I was like, I want to go back to that middle school and tell that coach that always told me I was faking it. <laughs> like, like, actually, surgery. knee surgeries. And someone was like, shh. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! So she died not knowing. Oh no! <laughs> no. You're a bad person. That's no. hilarious. That's all, but yes, yeah, Steve, I think that you and I had. Yeah, very I think we really did have some All right, Drew Campbell at Drew Bear ninety six says, "What is your favorite show that has a laugh track?" Hashtag Table Talk. Oh, that's easy for me. I love Lucy. Yeah, oh, man. That's hands good down. One. Own yeah. the whole collection. Love it. Genius. That show is fantastic. I love Lucy. Fantastic. It gives me anxiety sometimes, but it's like one of my favorite shows. But I love Lucy I love is one it. of those shows where it's like you can watch it at any time. Yeah, it's like it's you good. just pop it in, yeah. and it's good to go. Like it's great background noise. It's great when you're like kind of sick and you got to stay home from work or school mm-hmm. or something. It's like oh, and there's an episode for everything. Lucy. That's very true. Yeah, there really is a lot of great life place. lessons. You want to have happy tears? Watch the "We're Having a Baby, My Baby uh, and Me" episode. Yeah, it's funny. Like that in that show, his face is all painted. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> also, like, there was a thing with, like, their separate beds. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Remember thinking 50s as TV. a kid. Well, yeah. And they were the first people to ever be shown in bed. Like, he had, you had to keep one foot on the floor for TV yeah. then. Yeah. And so, actually, uh, Ricardo put his foot on yeah, the I guess I always they thought, a lot like, because we watched that stuff as kids. And it was, was Nick at Night. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was. Now Nick at Night is, like, Roseanne. And so everybody weird. loves Raymond. I don't think it's Roseanne. I swear to God it's Roseanne. Dude, it's Roseanne and it's Everybody Loves Raymond. Raymond and like that uh what? that Carlos Mencia or no no uh what's that show Oh um, um I know what you're talking about what I'm talking it's about? uh oh my god what George is that Lopez guy? Yes. George yes. Lopez I can't That's that Nick at Night now? Yeah, yeah yes. man I know it it's was crazy. Mr. Ed Greenacres yeah. yeah. and oh I love you yeah. when I was there yep. Greenacres 
Yeah. Uh, yes. But anyway, uh, so th- that I always thought as a kid, like, what's with the separate beds? Like, is this just like when you get married, you just you is just that a proper thing? Beds. But then I, yeah, and then I found out growing, when 50. I grew up is that yeah, they didn't want to show them in the same bed. It was well, like a TV thing. Yeah, I love it. And actually, a lot of couples nowadays have separate beds. Like, I've, I feel like as I've grown up, I've known a lot couples. of couples have separate rooms. Separate rooms. Now. Well, you so know, um, have... Hella Bonham, Helena Bonham Carter. I can't talk today. And um, her husband Tim Burton, they have separate houses that are like connected. That's cool. But she has like she has her so own, you have house your own she's space and your own decorated. style. He has his house. He decorated. Well, you know, Sarah and I have we have our bedroom, but then we have like our two. She has like her craft room, and I have my nerd yeah, room. Yeah, you should always have a man cave and a lady cave. Yeah, there's a always. place to escape. Is is yeah. always a good place to go to, yeah. Anyway, uh, did we all say our favorite laugh track? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Also like married with children. <laughs> all right, so what do we got here? Best birthday experience from Rear and Bass. Oh. Ooh, I have a terrible one. I've already talked about it on Twitter. I know what you're going <laughs> to Oh, yeah, say when nobody came to your birthday party. Oh, oh, I would just Meg. like to illustrate once again, fourth grade Meg sitting in the windowsill next to the door just <laughs> waiting. Uh, well, I don't think that was your best my, birthday. Oh, no, no. My older brother tried to, like, him and his friends were like, my mom got all these things so everyone could build their own pizzas. And my brother was like, we're going to, come on, we're going to build our own pizzas, you know what? Meg. Uh, I remember. No! No pizzas. No pizzas. Don't yeah. Step on my no pizza. <laughs> um, I remember some pretty bad. My brother would have his birthdays, and all of his friends would come over, and his friends were always beating me up and like treating me like Aww. shit. I remember those bad birthdays. My sister's birthdays, I had to dress up like a princess because she was having a princess party, so I was the mascot what? for the party. Oh. That's amazing. My brother and I are two days apart, so we always had conjoined birthdays. You know what's always. funny? I always remember my best birthday experiences were either at like Chuck E. Cheese or McDonald's. Do you remember the Chuck E. Cheese birthdays? I remember that yeah. McDonald's birthday cake. Uh, uh, the McDonald's. Okay, so it's the, the best tasting cake in the universe. Here's some weird shit about, okay, so McDonald's birthdays were cool. They would close off that little section and then you can go to the Playland and all that shit. I have some footage from when I was a kid, which I probably could not dig up in Any time footage this, of Steven as a small child is hilarious. Yeah, you gotta, I gotta find some of that stuff. You but anyway, so cute. The, well, thank you, Trisha. Uh, there was, okay, so Chuck E. Cheese. Did you guys ever have a birthday at Chuck E. Cheese? Charles yeah, E. Fromage. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that like the French? That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the that's adult so name. I, before I frequented Chuck E. Cheese, now that I'm an adult, I go to Charles E. Fromage. I'll go to Chuck E. Cheese. I don't give a shit. I don't care about the weird looks. In fact, you know, you can't get you in. You can't get in. That's not true. It is bullshit. I, I went for a recent birthday, but we had to fight them on it. They no, were like, guess you can't what? Go in. No, my we, friends and I. So when I was leaving Sony, I was like, we gotta go to Chuck E. Cheese before I go. And so we all went as a big mm. group of like ten adults. No yeah, kids. I had to get to my nephew's birthday party. I had to like be like. Dustin to my brother, so he'd be like, "Yep, they're with the birthday party." Well, you could they just come in and say, in. "Dustin," no, and no wouldn't. kid is they, there. Just they wouldn't no. let me in. No, they'd have. He had to come over. Oh, I feel like it's like a the child birthday. molester yeah. protection. Sure, well, that and makes now sense. they do the stamp that's like a black light stamp, and it matches you to the people you came in with. Jesus. So if you have a kid, if you're taking like another kid, your numbers don't match up. They won't let you. You know, leave. all that's that brilliant. means, yeah. all that means, is that there have been abductions at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh yeah, oh there's tons of them. So often that they've had to up their security. I know. I remember my best birthdays. We're going like actual best birthdays I, from like 15 to 18 every single year. I used to go to this arcade in, in Austin called Le Fun, and in, they had a DDR <laughs> That's French too. Yeah, yeah. Fun. Fun. Fully French. Uh, and they had two DDR, DDR machines. They had a Max Two and a Fifth Mix machine, and so it, that's all I would do. This <laughs> woman is dynamite. At DD. Yeah, this watch pretty good. Guys. Here's the thing: yeah. we're gonna convince. Make sure to tweet in. We're trying to convince Phil to buy an actual yes. machine. If we do that, I swear to you, I'll put up a webcam Isn't and we will play it DDR constantly. all the time in the constantly. office. Constantly. And I'll make fart sounds <laughs> while they're playing, so it sounds like they're farting while they're playing. But Meg Turney is literally that uh, that scene in Grandma's Boy. Where is like, what is that oh, did I break it? Again? Did it break it? <laughs> I don't know what that means. So wait, yeah. so my, no, my chicken cheese. I know, Have I haven't seen, seen it. I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. I know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, really? so you guys both didn't have birthdays at Chuck E. Cheese then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You did. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> so what, my thing was <clears throat> when I, I was a kid. <laughs> they used to do this thing, and I've, I've mentioned this to people before, and they're like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You were like, probably, I think you were sexually assaulted, probably. But, so, the Chuck E. Cheese. This is my real weird yeah. I know. Okay, so let's say, so let's say I had, like, my six, uh, so I turned six. Mm-hmm. We got Chuck E. Cheese. This is what they used to do. They would bring Chuck E. Cheese over in his suit. The rat type. Yeah, yeah in the rat costume. He'd come over, 
And they'd go like, how old are you? Like the Wrangler would be like, how old are you today? And he'd be like, I'm six. And we'd go like, okay, birthday boy, get up on this. The, yeah, you have to the, get up on the stage with go, him. Yeah, well, not only that. you get Did up he on the, touch your butt? No, he would get his tail and he would hit you on the butt for how old you were. So he'd be like, <laughs> one, two, three, all the way to six. Oh, my God. Ooh. <laughs> It's like, okay, okay. Did I get molested? <laughs> oh, I, I want to believe. I honestly want to believe that like in the you bedroom got... you oh. have you have Sarah Joseph like a mouse. <laughs> I deserve this. I'm thirty. Hit me thirty times. Oh my god. Okay. So wait. Um, no. 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 Wait. 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 But seriously. So I, I'm telling you, my brother. Yeah, I have no. My brother too. So and it was different occasions, maybe even different Chuck E. Cheeses. I don't think but so. it's definitely something they did like in the eighties. Like no, in the, I'm, I had I'm a telling Chuck you, Cheese I don't remember that. Hey, did you have a Chuck E. Cheese birthday? Tell us about it, and also make Steve what feel was better <laughs> about it. If not, what was your best birthday? What was your best birthday? Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> also, please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps the channel out a lot. Or click this annotation, and you'll see all the other videos we've ever done on the channel. Or you can go to sourcebud.com and see our typed out news. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm McTarney. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Hey, Steve. What? No! Flashbacks! Psh, to shitty pizza! Psh, psh, and my like dad it. drinking all the psh, beer! Wait, I like their pizza. Psh, the gets... pizza's gross, dude. It's like cardboard with like ketchup on it.